Hi, I'm Dave from Two Stroke Performance. Welcome to another TSP video. In this video, I'm going to talk about our KTM and Husky TPI power kits, which involve reflashing of the stock ECU with our own custom maps, and also supplying and fitting one of our two-piece billet heads to suit the 250 and 300 uh, enduro bikes. Um, so the reason why uh, we decided to create this kit uh, was basically going back to the 18 and 19 models where we're getting a lot of uh, inquiries from people with bikes that were spluttering, especially at, at part throttle around one eighth or one quarter throttle, uh, and also a lot of people who are unhappy with the bottom end and mid range power delivery. A lot of people thought that it was a bit too soft compared to the Carby bikes. Um, so uh, we set about the process of uh, figuring out how to crack into the stock ECU and change the fuel and ignition maps and we've successfully been able to do that. It's been a very difficult process, but we've been able to do it. Uh, we've got literally hundreds of hours uh, of dyno testing time, and we've also now reflashed hundreds of these uh, TPI ECUs, so the product is well and truly proven. Uh, basically, by, by reflashing this stock ECU with new fuel, fuel and, and ignition maps and fitting one of our heads, uh, there are a number of benefits that you'll get for your TPI. Uh, first and foremost, you'll get a lot more power especially at part throttle and especially through the low to, to mid range. You will also get more top end power, uh, but, but in terms of a percentage gain, it's not as high and we do that on purpose. Um, you will get uh, much, uh, much smoother power delivery than the stock bike. Um, a lot of these TPIs are, are already quite smooth, but our kit makes them even smoother. And certainly for the TPI bikes that's, that suffer from the part throttle splutter, that is almost totally uh, eliminated. Um, and the part throttle response is significantly stronger and smoother. Um, uh, better fuel economy is another advantage. Uh, we've got um, a lot of reports from customers now that say their, their fuel economy improves significantly after fitting this kit. And the reason is that we essentially make more use of the available fuel um, uh, to you know, get you from A to B uh, using less fuel. Um, uh, the tune overall is safer, especially on the 18 and 19 models. Um, there were some areas on the 250 and 300 that were very, very lean, so we've richened up those areas. And then there were other areas that were a bit too rich, so we've been able to take a bit of fuel away from those areas. Um, and finally, there's really no uh, risk to reliability. Uh, the TPI engines essentially are the same uh, engines uh, that have been run now for a number of years previously with carbies on them. We've been tuning these en engines for years and years. We know the limitations of them, we know how far we can push air fuel ratios, com um, compression ratios, uh, uh, ignition curves, that sort of stuff. So nothing about this kit uh, takes these engines beyond their limits. You'll still get excellent um, engine life, as good as a stock bike, but you will get all those benefits of more power, smoother power delivery, much better fuel economy, and for the earlier models, um, fixing that, that spluttering issue. For the 2020 models, uh, we, we do a, you know the exact same kit. Those bikes are a better starting point than the 18 and 19 models were, but we can still get some really good gains, again, especially at part throttle, uh, and especially through the low, uh, low to mid range. Um, our kit is designed to work with, with normal 98 octane fuels in Australia. Uh, in the US, that's the, the equivalent of about 91 or 92 uh, pump fuel. Um, so using a totally normal fuel, you'll get a significant increase in, in performance. Uh, and there'll be no need to use race gas or, or any ex, uh, expensive fuels. Um, so far, the, the countries that we've sent these off to, um, just to name a few, obviously Australia, uh, Canada, USA, France, Sweden, New Zealand, Belgium, the UK, uh, various places around Asia. Uh, we've done hundreds of these now. Uh, we've sent them all across the world. Uh, overwhelmingly, the response has been extremely positive. Um, uh, and so we're very, very confident in the product. We know it works, we know the head designs work, and the combination of the two uh, is um, easily one of the best value for money uh, TPI products that's currently on the market. It solves all of the TPI issues. It doesn't create any new issues, which some products on the market do, um, and the, it makes the bikes run uh, extremely well. The difference between a stock bike and one of the bikes with our kit is really quite significant. Uh, one final thing I want to talk about is um, on the ECU, uh, these ECUs do contain two ignition maps. Um, when you buy a bike stock, it, it has two ignition maps in it. 
Some people have a map switch on the bars which you can use to flick between the two maps. Uh, the stock maps generally, uh, in a lot of situations, it can be difficult to tell the difference between the two maps. When we uh, reflash these with our updated maps, there's a much bigger difference between map one and map two. Uh, so map one is, you know, uh, I guess I wouldn't call it aggressive, but it can be if you want it to be. It's certainly much more powerful. Uh, map two uh, is a softer tune, it's softer everywhere, uh, and the, the difference between the two uh, is quite significant. Um, uh, another thing to note, we're, at this point in time, where uh, Two Stroke Performance is the only place that I know of in the world offering a service of reflashing uh, these stock TPI ECUs. Uh, I guess there will be other people attempting to do it um, you know, sooner or later, uh, but we, so far we're the ones uh, you know, with the experience. We've done hundreds and hundreds of bikes. It's a proven product uh, and yeah, very, very confident that it's one of the best things that you can uh, do with your TPI. Um, uh, other things to note, uh, this tune is designed to work with one of our heads and with the stock exhaust system and the stock reed cage. We have had other people try our tune with different aftermarket heads and different exhausts. Uh, you can certainly give it a go, it can work, but uh, I'm confident that it works better with the stock exhaust uh, and one of our heads. Um, in the future, we, we will be releasing a, a range of other tunes to suit um, some different aftermarket heads, uh, and we'll definitely release some tunes to suit the stock cylinder head as well. Um, by fitting one of our heads, you will get the maximum performance and efficiency out of the engine, uh, but we can still do a good tune to set the stock head, uh, which still makes a big difference to performance. Um, when you ride a bike uh, with this setup on it, as I said before, I've talked about gains in power and, and smoothness and all the rest. Uh, one of the biggest things that you'll notice is, um, uh, as I said, the bike is much more responsive at, at low to mid throttle and low to mid revs. Um, you can often ride a gear higher in most situations and it, essentially you can use that extra torque that the engine has, uh, ride a gear higher and use lower revs and less wheel spin to get you from A to B. Um, so that's why I said before, uh, even though it's got a lot more power, the bike is actually a lot easier to ride. Um, so it's suitable for beginners, well, not so much beginners, but like amateur riders right through to racers who want a lot more power out of the bike. Uh, we do offer a range of compression ratios, low, medium and high. The low compression ratio is really designed or mostly designed for people doing extreme off-road or hard enduro or otherwise people who um, aren't necessarily looking for a massive gain in power but are mostly looking for smoothness. Even still with the low compression tune, there is still a big gain in power though. So don't think that you're not gonna get any gain because you will still get a, a very, very big gain. Um, it's just not as large as the other combustion chamber designs that we do. The second design is the medium compression design, which suits the broadest range of riders in the broadest range of conditions. It's very, very safe for, for normal fuels in Australia up to 98, the US 91, 92, um, around sea level. Um, uh, really makes a big, big difference uh, to the bike. And um, uh, uh, you know, as I said, it suits the broadest range of riders in the broadest range of conditions. And we also finally do a, a high compression head, uh, which either suits near sea level, either suits people at sea level who want maximum bottom end and mid-range performance and don't mind, I guess, a slighter risk of overheating if they are doing very, very technical riding because higher compression always equals higher engine temperatures. So the high comp design is more for if you're doing more flowing riding where there's a lot of airflow over the radiators. Um, or alternately, the higher comp design is good if you're living at elevation, say above a thousand metres or, or 3,000 feet. Um, uh, obviously that's not so much of an issue in Australia, but in other countries it is. In time I will do uh, an, another new design that I'll call a very high compression, which will suit people living at even higher altitudes again, and that will uh, mostly be for the US market. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a rundown um, on this kit. Um, I can't emphasise enough how much of a change this makes to these stock bikes. Uh, it really is a staggering difference in performance. Uh, with no risk to reliability. Uh, if you have any questions, jump on our website, twostrokeperformance.com.au. Uh, I'll throw up some dyno curves just uh, at the end of this video uh, that'll show you, uh, uh, you know, some different throttle positions and you'll see the, the before and the after difference. Um, I've put a, a whole lot of videos already on Facebook uh, and a whole lot of um, uh, dyno graphs on Facebook as well. So search for our page, Two Stroke Performance, on Facebook. Um, and lastly, if you haven't already had all your answer, uh, questions answered by this video and Facebook and, and our website, you can always send us an email 
to admin at twostrokeperformance.com.au. Thank you for watching.